This podcast is for entertainment purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please seek a medical professional or healthcare provider if you're seeking any medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Thanks, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so no <laughs> lie, I am so tired today, but as soon as you click that button, I'm like, like that song that we were just listening to. <laughs> we going something, something, the back of the bus and feel her, feel her nose up, what? something. It's the Penguin song. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Definitely the Penguin song, but I had no idea that the yeah. Oh, no, sing. it's like pretty crazy, though. <laughs> They're talking about drugs and sex Anyways, and really tired but, yeah. until right now. <laughs> Into it, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Three, six, mafia. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, this is like uh, the nighttime weekend session. Oh, yeah. With oh, yeah. Julia and Yvette. Oh, yeah. This is our, what do you call Oh, remember Delilah at night or Delilah? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God, uh, on the radio. Yes. For those of you that never listened to the radio before. I know, I know. For but us millennials and beyond. To like be- 101. 107 or something? No, that's Spanish. 101. 101.5. <laughs> and there should be like, people in Miami are yeah. like, uh, where's the Rayo Mambi shout out? Exactly. I know. I know. I know. I know. But if you wanted to keep it classy and like pretend that you're American, you would do the 101.5 with Delilah at night. My God, I'm literally remembering so many morning shows that I used to listen to. Right? What was the one on Y100? Why, the he's morning still doing show. It. He's still doing it. Stop it right now. I Elvis? S- what yes. His name? Elvis Duran. I was, oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> he's still alive. He's still doing it, dude. Well, he's, of course he's still alive. But why am I acting like he's, he's still, still doing it? And I think now they moved it over. I, I'm probably totally wrong, but I not that they moved it over, but like you could hear it on iHeartRadio or whatever. Mm. Yeah. The Elvis Duran Morning Show, yes, I think it's I called. I still remember Carolina was one of yep. the co-hosts. Yep. There was another, I can't believe I'm blanking out on her name, but she had the most infectious laugh and everyone. Oh, dude, yes. I know who you're talking. No, I don't remember it's the like name, real, but I do. It's like recorded into my brain, whatever. Like people are probably screaming the name. And what was the, the other name one? The, other the guy. The that guy. That he was like the. The jokester. The, exactly. What was his name? I don't know. And they would send him to do everything. To do everything, yes. I know. And then they would just shit on him. Every I know. Single the time whole forget time, time they were just shitting on him. It was like the poor guy, man. And like, you know, and people were like, oh, he's a little bit of an asshole. And I'm like, well, he has to be. Like, they're always shitting on him. Poor guy. Oh, my God. But yeah, so the tangents are going to be real today because it's yeah. late and everybody's tired. Evie had a full day of work and now she's here. It's back to school season. We're exhausted. It's a lot. To all my pediatricians out there, I feel you. <laughs> I I hear you. I know your pain. Oh, but God. we're almost there. How many patients did you see today? Dude, I don't even know. I don't. I stopped counting. Yeah? I stopped counting, yeah. Uh, and, you know, like, we take walk-ins and stuff. Right, that's why. It's, like, never really, like, what's it on your... It never ends. I think by, I think by 1230, I had seen about... 20 to 23 oh my by god. 12 30. oh my god yeah and you started at what time i started at eight jesus yeah oh boy anyway anyways oh <clears throat> that's rough anyway so but we are committed and and she's here yeah <laughs> <laughs> julie and i were just laughing about how it we are we have not changed we are exactly the same people <laughs> That we were in college. Julia is so prepared. She took show notes. She did everything. I literally just sat down. I'm like, what are we doing today? And she's like, look at the show notes. But you're a full ass doctor working a full ass day. You know, I have a lot more of a flexible schedule. You know, I do this sometimes. Julia, you are the heart of this podcast. And I love you for it. Absolutely fucking not. But we're not going to keep fluffing ourselves here. Okay. (laughs) Like, keep fluffing ourselves. So it's because now we're going to keep doing that for the next 10 to 15 minutes. It's like that friend 
that friend that just hypes you up the entire time. Exactly. You're so beautiful. You look so good. You're a badass. You're a badass. <laughs> We can do this for hours. Okay, exactly. Okay, but anyways, this is the second one that was voted like pretty much by one vote off from Acne, and it was blood types. You guys want to know about blood types? Okay. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm really surprised about this. Jules, Jules, Jules is like, yeah, we're gonna do it on blood types. And I'm like, really? You were like, why? Like, why what? blood types? <laughs> but yeah, everyone was really interested in in the blood types. Okay. Yeah. So I mean. What are the different blood types? Take it away, Eves. ABO. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's literally... <laughs> yeah. And then you have like the combination... The ABO blood AB. groups. That's what we call them. Okay. And then you can either be RH negative or RH positive, which is that D antigen that we talk about. That's like a boring conversation. I'm not going to... Yeah. I'm not going to go into like the nitty gritty on the science of it. Right. But um, yeah, so... <laughs> that's it. I feel like that's it. That is it. Those are, those are the blood groups. But... But, but then you, you also me- you also have like A B as well, like together. Yes, you have A B together. Okay. All right. So that's like a type. Like yeah. let's say. Like I'm O neg and then yeah. you are like O also. I'm O positive. Oh, okay, no shit. Yeah. Okay, so I could donate to you. You can donate to me. Exactly. Whenever. And then I could only receive from you, let's say, once. Isn't I... that how it works? No, no, because I am O positive. Oh, so it would ha- I need only you're negatives. a universal donor donor, and I'm a universal acceptor. I think it is. Oh, uh, okay. 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 No, or maybe. Well, I... yeah, that makes sense because I have no. Sorry, RH. guys, it's nine thirty at nighttime. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, because I have yes, no, yes, yes, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You're a universal donor, right? But A B, A B blood types are the ones that are universal. Um, acceptors, yes, because they, ah, they can right. receive A, they can receive B, and they can receive O's. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, got it. You know, when I think about blood types, yeah. I feel like I remember that when they would ask me for my license, like when I would go get my license, okay, they ask you for what blood type you are. Really, I don't remember that. I are they? I'm pretty sure that they do, or somewhere on one of those like documents, they ask I remember you that blood they types. Ask like or if, if I you're a donor. donor, exactly. Right. And then, but I feel like there's always this like <laughs> this creepy little thing going around mm. everywhere that they're always like, never put down what blood type you are, or never put down that you're a donor because there's like people in the black market trying to get oh, and all these things. And, that's true though. Yeah, and I'm like always I had so never scared. Of that. Well, now they know that I'm a. <laughs> now popular. everybody knows yeah. that I'm a donor. I'm like, <laughs> Jules, they're out to get that's you. It. My, well, if I don't see you tomorrow morning, it's like that video that that's I made it. on TikTok <laughs> about like my friend hasn't liked a video. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Yeah. So if you don't hear from me and like, you know, you I have like my videos. A kidney or or both of them gone. <gasps> <Jesus> that's why. <laughs> I feel like that's what everyone that and also it's so weird. I never we'll talk about this ABO blood group. But the other thing that people are always asking at the hospital is uh-huh. I deal with kids, okay. right? So with babies. So they're always like hey, what blood type is the baby? And I know that that's like actually like a very genuine question. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, at first I was like, why do they ask that so much? I don't feel like that's something uh-huh. unless they're like worried about some sort of transfusion that they might need or right. something like that. So I ended up asking one of my colleagues. I was like, yeah, it's so weird. Like they're always asking me like, what's the blood type of the baby? And then my colleague was like, I don't know. Maybe they have a different baby daddy or something. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be. It has to be it that. It has to be that. It has to be that. Because I remember when I got pregnant and I, you know, whatever, we were going through all of that. She was going, my gynecologist, she was like, oh, okay, so what blood type are you? I told uh-huh. her. And then she asked, Moria, oh, what blood type are you? And then, you know, luckily we have both negative. Uh huh. So. She's like, okay, so I'm not going to put... Like, she looks at me dead ass. Like, looks at me, like, with big eyes, questioning, you know? Like, <laughs> so I'm going to put that you don't need... What is the medication? Rogan. Rogan, or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. it right. Rogan with an M. Um, Rogan. That you don't need it, right? Because <laughs> if you do, it's important for me to know now. Because if not, that's going to become a problem, okay? <laughs> and I'm here like, no, I, I mean, I'm... 
not hiding anything. Like he's the baby daddy. And he's she's I, yeah. eyes open. Yeah, eyes open. Like seriously, like staring me down. Like, are you sure? And I'm like, like girl, I swear to God. Like, I swear, I, as a student, I would have <laughs> never. Yeah, I would have never thought about this. Yeah. And then now every single time a patient asks me like, hey, what's my baby's blood type? I, I'm uh-huh. sure that they're asking me probably because they're just curious yeah. to know. Yeah. But I'm always like, mm, well, it's also am like, I about to start something. Like, isn't it isn't it like if one of the parents is A and the other one's B, then it could be like it could be either or. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe it's that, too. Yeah. Like in the defense of them, it just so happens that Mario and I are exactly the same. So, I mean, there was really no doubt there. But maybe on their case, giving them the benefit of the doubt, maybe they're like, oh, I wonder if it's mine. If it's like, let's say I'm B and then Lord he's Jesus. A. Like, I don't know. People are weird like that, man. And it's like people that take the genetic testing and then it's all, they just want to know, like, Ooh, whose genes are better or whatever like it's, it's what? people get weird man wow this is insane to me like sometimes i listen to these things <laughs> and i'm and i'm just i just sit down and i just love to listen to other people's perspective on these things yeah man people are weird they're i haven't done the gene testing have you done the gene testing yes like the, the... gene testing to see like where you're from yeah the 23 and me the 23 and me no but there's like um color test is it what is that well i did the color test when i was pregnant what's the color test? to see if i am a carrier for any like type yeah, of disease like, like yeah. any of those diseases that i could pass on to yeah my, usually my we kid. test for like uh cystic fibrosis sickle cell uh-huh. sma um uh so those we do but there's uh actual like genetic tests that they will run your genes and see if you have any mutations that can okay. lead to certain diseases well a 23 and me does Is that, that? Oh it, well, it does it it's part of it i don't want to know <laughs> i'm like a person i'm like nope ignorance is bliss i don't want to know if someone in my family gave me some if i have some mutation that i'm gonna have alzheimer's well pff, i'll deal with it when i get there i probably won't know that it's happening to me <laughs> like, but exactly I cannot, I cannot the know what's going to The only thing, like, future. knock on wood so far, because it still, like, filters in. I mean, I did it months ago, and I still am receiving, like, these health reports is what they call it. And the one that I got, which I regret having told Mario, because now, any time that I step out in the sun and Mario is with me, he is spraying me with the highest SPF there is out there. <laughs> because what? the only thing that came back when it comes to these health reports, for yeah. me at least was that I have a little bit of a higher inclination to develop melanoma. Because look at me. I am yeah, you're I'm pasty white. ass. Yeah. So like I am Casper. Casper you know? Yeah. And this to me, like going out running every day. And yeah, I'm you have a little beige, tan. Yeah. You know? Beige. I'm beige. You know, for that's my tan. Beige. You know? And I've gone to Disney and I've gone to the beach. I've done everything. I have laid out like a lizard. I turned beige. Okay, <laughs> that is the darkest I go, you know? I wish I was that person that turned, like, that nice golden Australian That's tan. That's Mario. Oh, I'm so Give him jealous. one day, and he'll even wear, like, the highest SPF. The same one he sprays on me, he'll uh-huh. put it on himself. Perfect tan. I get, like, burnt toast. Like, it's not even, like, a nice burn. It's, it's not like, fair. literally a burnt toast. It's like, not fair. A piece of toast. If, if I just turn maybe a sh- darker shade of beige mm. or red, either or. Like, my mom hates being so tan. <laughs> She's like, look at me. She's like, what is this? She hates it so much. I don't know why. I'm always like, I'm, I'm over here like fake tan. Oh my God, for the love of God, I need to give you my fake tan that I've been trying to give you. <laughs> it's in the car, remind me. But I'm always here like doing, like I did a fake tan for my birthday and then I did it again and everyone's like, wow, you look so tan. And I'm like, it's fake. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I don't have. It's not because I don't want to go to the beach. It's that I don't have time. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Well, tangent. Okay. And a tangent. But I mean, we're talking about genetics or whatever, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, that was the only thing that came back for me in twenty three of me, and now I cannot step out in the fucking sunlight without, without Mario. Like, and I'm just like Jesus. Why did I tell you anything? He's like, you could do anything. And I'm like, anybody can. Okay, whatever. I'm. I. That, you know, whatever. But. I are. can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, okay. So we talked about the antigens and whatnot. So yeah. So if you have a, so basically think about it. If you have like a little red blood cell floating around, you have these like little, little ABO groups just attached to it. Okay. Right. And then okay. that's what, that's what we pick up. So okay. basically when 
you're doing any kind of blood transfusion or anything like that, we have to make sure that you have the same blood type because if your body recognizes something completely different, it's going to think that it's like an invader. Oh, and so like gonna, a virus or something. Yeah, like a virus or something. And it's going to go into a full-blown like anaphylactic reaction. Okay. Because it's so much inflammation because it's trying to get it out of your system. Got it. Got it. That's okay, like yeah. the most simplistic way of putting it. Right. So that's why it's important for transfusions and pregnancy. Yeah. And, yeah, and even um, like patients that have cancer. Oh, that too. Yeah. Neonates and stuff like that that don't have like have weakened immune systems we'll even we'll even like irritate like so like basically it's we call it washing and like basically like zapping anything it's like to make the blood as clean as possible okay before we give it to anyone to avoid any kind of transfusion reactions yeah okay that makes sense yeah okay so then you guys like pretty much tested for anything out there then we tested or at least for like for a good hiv amount. right we the... tested for hepatitis it's like impossible to test it right for everything, for everything. yeah yeah, yeah. I but i mean imagine. but we do test it to make sure that it doesn't have any any like viruses or any diseases out there that it might cause something oh man crazy story at the hospital that i was at when i was a student uh-huh there was this kid i i felt terrible this is like a not a funny story at all by any means but it just goes to show that some yeah. things some things are like truly out of your control like uh -huh. it's no one's it's no one's fault yeah but, um this kid had a cancer and a very specific type of cancer and he needed a blood transfusion and the blood that they gave him i guess they had cultured it Mm -hmm. I, I don't work at a blood bank, but I guess they run different tests and part of it is like a blood culture to make sure you don't have any bacteria growing in it. Yeah. And dude, tell me why they gave this kid a blood transfusion and they called them the day after saying that the blood culture was positive for MRSA, oh, which Lord. is like a very bad bacteria. Yeah. No one wants MRSA. Anything. septicemia yeah no one wants that yeah. bacteremia septicemia and bacteremia and septicemia is just the medical words for saying like an infection in the blood and like an infection leading to end organ damage and stuff like that so that's mm -hmm. like what septicemia is but they do this kid that has no immune system oh god no was directly a bacteria was directly inserted into his system into his system for the love of God. Yes. Luckily, he was fine. He didn't... Thank God. Everything was okay with him. But I... When I received that news... I wasn't a resident. I was a student. Thank God. Because if I was a resident, I don't even know what I think what I'd do. I'd, I'd, I'd go crazy. Because I feel like, as you know, as a student... Yeah. You don't... You have that responsibility. But, but not to that not level. Not to that level. Yeah. I... My God. I was just mortified. Oh. I was mortified. Jesus. I died. Yeah, And ever course. since then... <laughs> If I ever had to give a blood transfusion as a resident, yeah, I would call the blood bank. Of course. And like triple track pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it's impossible to like, and first of all, like the blood bank. Oh my God. If I were to call them, <laughs> they'd be so pissed off for even bothering them. <laughs> but I would just, you know, those type of patients, I was like, hey, okay, like it's this, it's this much and yeah. that much. And we picked this and that because everything goes through a computer and we would have like my seniors double check. It was like a whole entire check Sys checking system yeah but anyways i digress but oh man yeah that i mean that's it's just so scary like when it comes to those type of immunocompromised patients too like you have to be so careful yeah so careful like any little thing mm -hmm. you know and it's not that that's a little thing it's not yeah but but there's people that get diseases from blood transfusions right hepatitis exactly HIV. we run those tests and we make sure that they're negative and stuff like that but it happens. It happens. And it shouldn't, obviously. Right. right. But it does happen and it's super scary. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever needed a blood transfusion. I can't think back. I don't think I've ever needed one. Luckily, me I've either. donated before. Okay. No, I haven't. I haven't even donated either. You've never donated blood? Dude, I hate needles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine me just sitting there with the blood coming out of me. Like, dude, the first done. time I donated was in done. high school. And they had like one of those like donation buses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> like one of the big red buses or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in the bus and they're taking out my blood and the lady, the phlebotomist, I guess it's a phlebotomist up there. Mm. She's like taking my blood and I'm like looking at my blood just like 
pour out of me mm-hmm. at this velocity mm-hmm. that I was like, wow. I was, nope. And she even said it. She was like, oh, wow, you are just like filling up the bag so fast. Nope. So when she, when she takes it out, like out, like to the needle out, uh-huh. she tells me she's like, hey, you know, just take it easy and just walk slowly. Uh-huh eat something yeah she's thinking things. you're gonna be lightheaded and tell that to a freaking teenager in high school right <laughs> yeah right so i get out of that bus and i see some friends of mine and i'm like what, what? you know i'm like dancing and oh stuff. my god i passed out completely oh, jesus christ and all i remember were all of my high school friends faces on top of me uh-huh and one of the people <laughs> that was like evie do you know who you are you're Evie, right? And then I answered. I'm like, my name is Evac Gonzalez. And no. I remember him being like, yeah, she's fine, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I can't. You see, and that's a weird thing. I'm not, I don't have an ick with blood. I'm totally fine with blood. I could look at, like, surgeries and all that. It, it, blood doesn't bother me as blood. But the act of it coming out of me, not even of you, I could watch somebody just take out all the blood from anybody Mm -hmm. through however form. But coming out of me through like any form. You're like, nope, nope. It's not coming out of me. Not me. Not me. Nope. It's weird. I don't know. That's why like I wish I could. But maybe I can like one day, you know, I'll, you know sack up and do it but like right now i can't i really like i still have the ick about it i don't know i just i I just whatever anyway (laughs) you're like freaking out you're like nope i can't i can't i can't and i'll definitely be one of those that i will will faint (laughs) because just getting regular blood tests done on me i faint so yeah that's crazy i can't believe you're so regular regular one that's just like maybe two or three tubes worth Paint. like maybe a year ago i painted yeah oh my god my <laughs> when they take yeah oh but you told me that when you were younger you had a lot of blood work done yeah and, when i was a kid stuff. yeah so yeah maybe yeah. that's why you have that trauma yeah it definitely comes from somewhere there 100 percent. 100 percent. i acknowledge it <laughs> no when they take blood from me i just i can't like sometimes i look but i have to just look away because i feel like it's so awkward between the yeah, person yeah And I don't want to make them nervous or anything. So I just look away. (laughs) It's so awkward because it's just a wall next to me. I know. I know. I was like, is there some reading material that I can read? Or a TV. Can somebody just put on the news? Anything. Like pretty colors. Something for me to look at. I don't care. It could be a screensaver. But anything but just looking at a wall. (laughs) Dude, those. Man, I can't imagine being a phlebotomist the whole day. The whole Dude, day just poking. That my mom did that for a while, and she used to do it to kids, and it That's was hard. it was the worst. I mean, she lasted in that job maybe a couple of months, and yeah. it was at Miami Children's, and she she quit because she's like I I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. Like she was getting kids like really really sick kiddos with yeah. like blood, and they would grow to hate her because I mean she's every morning you know, every she's morning there. there she is taking out blood, and then they would literally tell her oh i hate you or you know all these bunch of things that like she would come home crying yeah. and it just be no, a phlebotomist kids can be crazy yeah yeah <laughs> so like and, and you know my mom she loves kids so on top of that i've had some kids be like demonic <laughs> no way no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well like the one in, in my kids bad system where which one was that one dude I can't like a couple of kids ahead before it uh-huh. was ours uh-huh. don't you remember that he almost tipped over the freaking thing and everything oh, yeah, and we're not. like oh my god no he no, no. was throwing a fit no almost. that was just a tantrum i have like kids you know i will like, never forget that i'm like that kid is satanas. <laughs> satanas. oh my god what a seatbelt hey, dude the guy he just started screaming and everything mario was just looking at me like are we are we seeing something we're not supposed to be seeing yet? shoot <laughs> I, this is not a Catholic church, but should we call a priest? Like, should, should we call a priest? Should, like, I don't know, man. This is really weird. <laughs> no, there there have been some kids, and I'll, I had a patient. He was a frequent flyer, poor kid. But he had a disease where he was unfortunately constantly in the hospital, and these kids are, like, traumatized. Yeah. You yeah. know? So 
he would just, it was so crazy because to his parents, uh-huh. and I sit right outside the room when I'm in the ICU, right? Uh-huh. So I'm, you know, doing my own thing, like on the computer and to the parents, they're like, mommy, can I have this? Can I have some juice? Oh my. And, you know, I just want like, you know, no, I don't want this. Can we have some fries or something? Super angelic. Yeah, super angelic. And then. I come in to just auscultate their heart and they're like they their voice changes completely. Oh my god. And they're like Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like demonic. They would sound demonic. And then I had this one attending that was like no joke. He was so strict. Uh And he'd be like he'd talk to them. Like he'd talk back to them. Yeah. Like a father. He was like, how dare you talk to your your doctors like this? Oh, my God. He, and then he would tell the parents, he's like, you need to teach him better manners. <gasps> and I, oh, my God. Yeah, it was terrible. No. Terrible, uh, terrible, terrible. Oh, my terrible. God. It, me yeah. as a parent, I would die. Oh, yeah. Well, everyone died with this attending. Oh I mean, he was God, great. Me and he's fantastic. And he's an amazing doctor. And a lot of his patients love him because of how good he was. Yeah. But yeah. he will tell you straight up if you are fucking up as a parent. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, I kind of love that, well, I but mean, um, he would tell me straight up if I was fucking up as a resident. For yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, if he's oh my God, if it. I would miss something and he'd be like, why didn't you do that? And, and I, I wouldn't have any anything to say. I'm really? like, no, I, I didn't do it because I forgot. And then he was like, oh, you forgot. Oh, oh, that's weird. I thought you were a senior. Oh, my God. Oh, no, yeah, that's how it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I still love him for some reason. <laughs> It's like Stockholm syndrome. At yeah, that point. it was like weird. <laughs> it was like weird. I'm like, oh, I'm down. <laughs> Dad, God damn it! I'm, I'm gonna go jump off the building. <laughs> I let you down. <laughs> oh God. But anyway, okay. So yeah, tangent. about blood types, I saw here, and I, I guess you know maybe people will find this interesting since they did request blood types. Mm-hmm. Um, there are eight main blood types, but some are rarer than others. Mm-hmm. Oh, as you had said earlier, that O positive is the most. Um, I was gonna say most popular. <laughs> the most. <laughs> She's that girl. She's that girl. She's it. <laughs> but yeah, so positive is the most common blood type or blood group. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. And this is by www.blood.co.uk. You know, you can check it out. And of course, I will source this all in the show notes. But O positive, 35%. O negative, 13%. A positive, 30%. A negative, 8%. B positive, 8%. B negative, 2%. AB positive, 2%. And AB negative, 1%. Yeah, 1%. That sucks, man. If Damn. you are AB negative. Yeah. I mean, you would only have to be able to find O negative donors, right? at that point yeah pretty much yeah oh god well Mm -hmm. anyway okay so there was that i have what well no what oh yeah i'm 13 percent, so it's not that bad i mean you're 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 there like on the rare i'm the most common no there was always like a myth when i was younger that o was the rarest form really i don't know why and then of course after i went through like human physiology and all that i'm like what the hell told me that and i believe this all in my whole life <laughs> your whole life like stupid <laughs> so anyway but there's that and then we went over the rh positives and negatives that it's like when we mm-hmm. were saying o neg or o positive that's what the rh yeah is. what the negative or positive is it's the rh factor mm-hmm. and it's that antigen and it's rh factor is a major cause of hemolytic Hemolytic? What? Yeah, hemolytic. Okay. <laughs> that. <laughs> disease of fetuses and newborns. So. Yeah, hemolytic disease of the newborn. Yeah. So yeah. basically what happens is that, okay, like I'm just going to use you yeah. as an example. Yeah, but yeah. let's just say Mario was not. Um, uh-huh. uh, what is it? O negative? Yeah. Two? Okay, so both of you are O negative. Right, right. Oh, that's, well, that's why. perfect. Okay. That's why she was looking at me side-eyed like, yeah. you fucking sure? Because if he's positive, you're negative. Yeah, so let's just say Mario, okay, uh-huh. was O positive. He right. could potentially have given MR that positive mm-hmm. RH factor, right? So when MR is born, right, during delivery, there's a ton of mixing of blood and stuff uh-huh. naturally. So your body is going to pick up that RH positive as an invader. Okay. Okay. However, you don't have any kind of reactions because it's only in the moment. It's only in the delivery and stuff like that. So you're not going to have like some reaction, right? Okay. But thing is that your body, it's like never forgets, right? Okay. So so it builds 
and like antibodies against the Rh positive, right? Oh, okay. But you're still like your blood is Rh negative, so there's no reason why these antibodies should be floating around right. anymore. So if you were to get pregnant again, uh-huh. right? And let's say Mario passes on the Rh positive again, right? Okay, your body is going to see that mixing of blood, yeah, and then it's going to start attacking the baby. Wow, yeah, that's that's wild. That's yeah. wild how like your baby that you are y- mm-hmm. you're making mm-hmm. in, for instance in this scenario me that I'm making in my own fucking body okay mm-hmm. completely making on my own could have a completely different fo- blood type than me mm-hmm. yet I'm sourcing it you mm-hmm. know everything literally everything so it's just it, it's wild to me yep. to think about that yep but, but yeah I don't know I don't know I mean back to genetics I guess and how all of that works and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, and there's like babies that get trans, like transfused, and right, it's, it's insane. The medicine, the maternal fetal medicine, oh and yeah, perinatal medicine, and stuff like that is truly insane. Yeah, there's you know, a lot. There's we do surgeries on kids in utero. I've dude. Every time I've heard of those cases, it freaks me out. I don't even know how that's possible. It's yep. it's amazing and insane at all at the same time. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Mm. I've. I don't think I ever got the chance to go to one of these procedures. It's very rare. It doesn't happen a lot. It takes a lot of coordination. But basically, there's something called an exit procedure. Okay. Which is before the baby is even born, still connected to placenta. So we're still using the mom's placenta to oxygenate the baby and everything. Mm -hmm. We literally just deliver partially the head of the baby and they intubate the baby still while inside the mom. What? Yeah, still while inside the mom. Yeah, so those are like really high risk cases. I think I never got to go to this one. And, you know, whoever needs to be there is only the people I need to be of there. Of course. But yeah. we're talking about teams. They map it out. They like, have to. That's they, they're like, I'm going to go in here. Because imagine you're doing, it's the OB gynecologist, right? That's doing the C-section. Right. Right. Then it has to be the whoever it is, like another surgeon that's there, Mm -hmm. like a pediatric surgeon or something like that, that needs to be there potentially. And then you have neonatology that's going to be taking care of that baby. Right. Right. So there's a lot of moving pieces. And so they literally have to be like, okay, well, when this happens, you're going to step onto the side and then this person is going to come in and then this person and then you have to like. So it's like a dance that they have to learn. Exactly. That's what I was going to tell you. It's like a dance. It's a A dance they have to learn. And we're very, very, very specific. So if you don't have to be there, if you're just observing, you're probably observing from like a corner so far away (laughs) so that you don't get in the way of anyone. Yeah. Because it's like procedures that are so delicate that if you mess up one thing, that's it. Shit will hit like the fan. So yeah, it was crazy. I never got to see it, but. It's it's just insane to me, like how some like it's so advanced nowadays. That's that's insane. I had never heard of that of the yeah. baby being partially out and intubated, intubated while out. still receiving blood supply from mom. Wow, that's bonkers. And then after they stabilized, so I think this patient had a mass, uh huh. So like a neck mass that oh, was so massive. Okay. That they did not think that the baby would be able to be successfully intubated Uh if delivered and then intubated. So they wanted to make sure that he was still getting oxygen, intubated first, and then after successfully being intubated, then go and complete the actual delivery. Do you know if the kiddo made it out? Yeah, they did. It was successful. It was a successful exit procedure. Wow. Yeah. That's that's When done correctly, when done correctly, you can do it. But... I think it's I think it's OB-GYN anesthesiology obviously right, of course. neonatology and I'm not sure if the pediatric surgeon was there because I don't think that they would do any surgery at that moment in time mm-hmm. but but yeah it's 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 a lot of moving pieces. Oof. Oh my god, I can only imagine but that's crazy. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, there's that. <laughs> so anyways, back to the Mixing of the blood type yes, for the baby. That's where we, that's how we got there. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> if let's just say you were to have had an O positive baby, then yeah. your immune system is going to attack that baby, and that's what causes like hemolytic disease of the newborn. Actually, it can like it can be like pretty serious. Hemolytic disease of the newborn is just when you have that like uh, I kind of explained that wrong. <laughs> that that I'm thinking about. Um, I'm 
I'm explaining something completely different. I'm explaining like a more severe com- complication of the RH factor. Okay. But that can actually lead to high drops, which is okay. something completely different. Okay. Like the baby could die, basically. Okay. Because of this mixing of blood. Okay. But hemolytic disease of the newborn is basically when you have that mixing of the blood. So then the red blood cells lice. Okay. And then they explode. Oh, shit. And then what happens is that, I mean, it's not it's not anything crazy. Like, the baby's going to be okay. okay. But then they have complications of, like, high bilirubin and mm. stuff like that. So Okay. Okay. But yeah, sorry, guys. I'm telling you, it's late at nighttime. I'm thinking of high drops in my head, even though I was trying to explain. <laughs> and what's high drops? High drops is... The best way that I can explain it that's, like, not complicated is, like, a bubble baby. But it's really sad. Like, oh, no. a high drops baby. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, okay. Yeah. It's very severe. That's a very severe complication. Yeah. So, it's basically high drops is when they have a fluid overload. Uh-huh. So, it could be a fluid overload in the lungs. It could be a fluid overload in the skin. So, that's why the baby looks like a bubble baby. Okay. But it's very sad. It's, like, that's a very, like, severe, severe, severe complication. And usually, they don't make it. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. How well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's our show on a Friday night. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I don't know. We should put that part in. But anyways. It's fine. No one wants to talk about that. Well, people wanted to know about blood types. Here we are. You know, the complications of it or not. We're here. <laughs> Terrible. So, anyway, I did find an interesting article that did say that blood types have some associations with certain diseases and there's chinese studies on it and there was also a swedish study on it and i mean i had never heard of this so it, i found it pretty interesting and then what it said here and of course again i source it all in the show notes in a study of non-hispanic white participants certain blood types were found to be associated with circulating inflammation related molecules another study using a swedish national blood donation transfusion database found that certain blood types were linked to increased risk and severity of certain conditions such as blood clots bleeding disorders and gastric ulcers additionally a study in china found that individuals with blood type ab were more prone to hemorrhagic fever and renal syndrome hfrs so ab were more prone to hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome infection while those with blood type b were less successful susceptible yes accessible that word susceptible that <laughs> it's lit guys i can't i can't pronounce even simple words now <laughs> this isn't even a medical like, term accessible no no susceptible that anyway <laughs> you're like that word she underlines it for me like, read that for me <laughs> <laughs> and to end it for the more different different <laughs> ethnic groups have specific differences in rare blood types which is important for blood transfusion services overall these studies highlight interesting differences etc cetera, etc cetera. so apparently according to these studies no, there's like- associations of diseases with certain blood types and yeah. whatnot, which i had never well, that ever was like heard a of huge that. thing in covid don't you That's remember that right. in COVID, they were like but i thought oh, that was all like got... a hoax of like, course it's a hoax yeah yeah like i of just of course it's a hoax i never took that seriously because i'm like really like i mean come oh, on if you have a certain know. if you have this blood type oh. right yeah i remember you that i'm not get covid i was like oh, oh okay so yeah let, let's do that but sure whatever anyway and then the other thing that i did find was that carriers of blood type O are generally more resistant to diseases with exception of H. pylori. So, well, good for Cool. You know? (laughs) know? It's such a random fact. Right? It's so random because it's like, the thing is that this study pretty much shit on all the other blood types. types, And then it was like, oh, but group O, you guys are all good except your stomach sucks. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You well, know? no, that's for AB, right? Grupo did Grupo... not get H. pylori, right? No, that they did. Oh. They're, they are generally more resistant to diseases with the exception oh, of H. H. pylori wow, associated really gastroenterosis, yeah. gastrointestinal the diseases. Disease. Look at you. <laughs> I was able to say that. Check that out. <laughs> but yeah, so our stomachs suck, but 
we're good with everything else. Like, all right. I don't so know. next time I get an abdominal pain, right? I'm gonna be like, oh well, it's my must fucking blood type. Pylori. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> must have been the o. friggin' O type. <laughs> and then they go on to shit further on A, B, and A, B together. Good, because they suck. Right? <laughs> Team on. <laughs> Are more susceptible. Say it again. Susceptible. <laughs> that word. <laughs> to development of infectious cardiovascular and cancer diseases. Well, shit. <laughs> My God. Well, I mean, good riddance. My Lord. I'm telling you, this is, this, like, yeah, like, whatever. It just, it really shot on them. But anyway. Honestly, I have to do more... I would I would be lying if I told you, ah, oh, yes, true. Honestly, I never read up on how different diseases could be more severe in different blood types. I didn't know it was even a thing do until I, I started doubt, looking into all do of this. Do I doubt anything in medicine? No. I <laughs> sometimes there's something like so many things are so complicated that all I can tell my parents and sometimes they just look at me and they're like, excuse me. Why? Like when I try to explain things to them uh-huh. or like when a kid is having these crazy symptoms yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's viral. And they're like, but all of these things, yeah, all of oh. these things that's causing these symptoms. And I'm, I literally just look at them. And I'm like, viruses are really weird. Dude, that is. They do weird things. All the time with my mom. All the time. Every time he has a cold, anything. I'm like, mom, it's more than likely a virus. Yeah. But, but like how? But like, but I'm, that's what viruses do. Yeah, they're like, just weird. They're weird. But the last time he had a cold, it wasn't like this. So yeah. I'm like, but the last time it was a different virus. I know. And it's so frustrating because <laughs> I feel like some parents, they just want an answer yeah. to something and not just this like figure of speech. What is this virus you speak of? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like they can't see it, so they don't know what it is. And then sometimes I try to tell parents how I'm interpreting things. And I feel bad because I know that they come to me yeah. for answers, right? Yeah. And I can give you answers to a certain extent. But medicine is not straightforward at all. Yeah. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Sometimes they'll like send me a little my chart message. And they're like, hey, doc, did you see that this in the labs was flagged red? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. And they're like, <laughs> but it's flagged red. That means abnormal. And then I'm like, it is fine. And they're like, but what should we, what causes that? And I'm like, a lot can cause that. I can give you reading material, but it's fine. Do we need to repeat the lap? No, <laughs> we do not need to repeat the laps. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stop messaging me about this. I know. God I'm damn like, it. Please. I went to school Stop. all these years for you not to question me about this. I know. This. And let me tell you, I'm the first person that I tell parents, I'm like, hey, you are your child's advocate. You know what I mean? And if you feel strongly about something, I prefer that you communicate that to me. Uh But sometimes I tell, like, I ask the parents, I'm like, what is it? What is that scares you the most? Yeah. And then they tell me their fear. Uh And then I'm able to, you know, like, reassure them. Yeah. Right? But. And then, I mean, it has to suck when they, they go in there with you know a virus or whatever and they want you to give them something to make it feel better. Yeah, they're they're probably waiting for two hours and then they're just like this fucking doctor is just telling me that it's a virus and they're like nothing like for a six month old they're like you're not gonna give them something for their cough and i'm like nope that's what i was gonna tell you they're like probably feeling like oh crap i'm leaving here empty-handed what the hell yeah. you know when they were expecting that you were gonna give them a medicine no and the worst you know? part and they're like what about this so it's just like a zarbies over the counter <laughs> and then i'm like sure yeah i'm like sure you could try that i'm yeah. like probably won't work but <laughs> It won't hurt. And it if, won't hurt. If it makes you Actually, feel Zarbis better. Actually, works really well for, for for Nora. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I remember my mom, she fucking drove me crazy <laughs> with Nora's cold. <laughs> and she's like, there's nothing that we can get. There's nothing. Mm. Nothing. And I was like, you know what, mom? I'm just going to get you freaking Zarbis. Yeah. So you shut up. Yeah, it's something. And then it's something. And then when I gave it to Nora, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, no, oh, it like, took me 30 minutes for this child to freaking take two MLs of this Starbucks bullshit. Exactly. And then I'm like, it's not going to work, whatever. Dare I say it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. You're like, well, Now oh. the first one I see Zarbies, and I'm like, <laughs> give it over. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> oh, my God. But it truly doesn't work sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
I cannot give anything that's liquid form, especially to my kid. No, he, yeah, Nora spits it out. She straight up spits it out of my face. Oh my god, it's it's. I don't even know. It's like tr- give, trying to give him poison or something. Like it, yep. there's no way. There's yeah. no way I could give him anything that's liquid. It's impossible. And now Nora's smart like, enough that she'll be like, "Awa, awa," so she'll want water, but uh, it's just for the mere fact of just avoiding yep. the syringe with the medicine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Thank God. Thank well, she's starting daycare now. You know what? I'm not even gonna think about it. <laughs> Cause if that girl needs antibiotics, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm well, just gonna mix, mix it with Coca Cola. Well, did, how about the chewable? Chewable what? Chewable antibiotics. That's what I give MR. I've never sent those. Chewable antibiotics. I sw- well, maybe for our population of patients, it's not covered. Technic, it's it's usually not covered if you can do the liquid or okay. the pill form. A chewable is a luxury. Anything chewable is extra. Okay. It's not covered. I mean, things, it's yeah. hard as shit to find. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah I have yeah, to yeah. go to like the strangest Publixes in Miami yeah. to find it because yeah. I can't be like, oh yeah, put it here in the corner wall. And does it not going to happen? Good? I don't know, but he eats it. It works. Well, it tastes good. It, it works because I was in the same boat every time. Man. Whenever I needed to give Can him I an antibiotic. Can I team up with a pharmaceutical company and make antibiotic gummies? Oh my god. TM, TM. TM. That is my idea. <laughs> Funny medicine's idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I'm sure they're already working on it. They have to be. If not, they're really, really like losing out on something because of yeah. chewables. And look, I don't know why chewables is that hard to find. I'm telling you, I every time I've had to get it, it's had to be like who has it in stock? Yeah. I gotta start calling and it's for some reason for anybody out there that's like in that same boat that I that I've been in. Publix typically carries them. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Um, they're typically the ones that have them in stock. You do need to search far and wide like, yeah. which one has it in stock, but it's typically for, um, Publix because CVS nor Walgreens, I've never had luck with them. I mean, just the a chewable. Zyrtec chewable, they won't cover. Jeez. Well, I'll show it to you. I think it's amoxicillin chewable. Amoxicillin, yeah. yeah. When I'm putting in the orders and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure I've seen the chewable amoxicillin. But I never order it just because I was always, you know, trained that chewable is a luxury. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's like, but the if th- they have the liquid, they'll pay fully for the liquid. Right. But yeah. the thing is that he would be spitting out most of the freaking oh, yeah. liquid. So I'm, I'm doing nothing here. I literally I'm just give torturing her a soda. Him. I know it's terrible to say. Yeah. But to get her yeah. medicine down, she loves freaking soda. So I just give it to her there. My kid is so freaking picky. Gotta pick my battles. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, you do. When you're a mom, you gotta pick your freaking battles. Yep. Are you kidding? So, back to blood types. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all I have is about all these weird things that, like, apparently, blood type B is the one that's shitted on the most in this research article. Yeah. It's associated with, with cancers, diabetes. I'm like, uh, we are not trying to instill any fear. In anyone that has a BD. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm literally reading straight out of their article. And it, uh, type 2 diabetes is significantly associated with gastric bilary, biliary, biliary? that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially pancreatic cancer. Also, other studies demonstrate that bl- blood group B was associated with diabetes. Mellow. What? Melitis? That. <laughs> and hypertension. Everything. And then they give you a little bit of hope here at the end saying blood type B and AB um, are associated with a lower risk of gastrointestinal cancers. So you got everything oh, wow. else. Thanks. But, you know, you're okay gastric-wise. Yeah. I don't know about your pancreas, but at least gastric-wise, you're okay. Right? It's. I was oh, like, my God. That bullshit. is so scary. Sorry for anyone that's <laughs> Be the I know, I know. I mean, listen, it's not coming from me. It's coming from these, the sweet. You guys will be fine. Yeah, you're, I'm sure you, you guys will be fine. For some reason, they decided to pick on you. But, and I found it interesting because I was like, I've never had heard about like freaking diabetes being associated with a blood type. You know? Honestly, I, again, I have to read up, read up on it. I'm not completely sure on, you well, know, these studies, like what that. kind of studies they were, yeah. how they were conducted. Was mm-hmm. it strong? Was it not? Mm-hmm. where did they get their data from everything changes from where you live to so yeah. i don't know yeah. if that was something but i mean i feel like if it was something really significant yeah okay then i feel like we would be questioning it more right. you know what i mean right i feel like it would be 
one of those questions that it's like, do you smoke? Do you not? What blood type are you? Exactly. You know what I mean? So, because if it's supposed to be so, you know, associated and linked. Yeah, no, I think these are just like experimental studies on them studying blood types in In general general and getting some more information. It's like that whole saying that you guys have, like correlation is not causation, you know? So they're just like tinkering with that. Yeah. that's what I caught from it. But I just found it interesting that people are still digging into that, like you had mentioned before. Yeah. With COVID, yeah. people brought it up there too. Yeah. So it's like people are just obsessed with this type of stuff, like trying to link, you know. And I think it's just that whole question of why do we have different blood types? And yeah. it's just like an evolutionary thing. Yeah. Like some people, at least I had read on other websites and whatnot, comes from Neanderthals. Some of them, the other one comes from this other strain of like, ancient humans and whatever and then the mixing and the whatever back then in the caveman era oh my god like, i'm about to go into like a crazy oh no, no you could go into a text you could go into a serious rabbit hole if you want Reading to about like where does the blood type like situation come from because it's true and if you really want to go down a deep rabbit hole if you keep going down that same rabbit hole like just keep going down that same one of oh the neanderthals and yeah. whatever and all the homo sapiens and whatever the heck back then because there were like different yeah types of them back then if you keep going down that same rabbit hole you'll go to those deep conspiracy theories yeah that's what i'm saying the conspiracy theories of people saying oh aliens yeah 100 percent because aliens are always going to come up in a conspiracy theory right sure for sure so you keep digging deep down enough and i did bump into it i'm like okay that's the one i'm not gonna click on (laughs) Click on the other one. <laughs> I'm like, that's not the article I'm going to read now. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah. And people are swearing that O is, you know, um, an alien, you know, bloodline. So and we come from aliens? A- according to... Ver- and guys, you could look this up in TikTok and was stuff. Weird. Like, I know. Yeah, but I didn't too. know I, mean, I was like that weird it comes it's, in my it's, it's my blood so much bs so much bs out there people just love conspiracy theories like they really Nora's just not do. oh she's really positive yeah no shit yeah man she got her dad's blood <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> but she doesn't have my blood <laughs> but again isn't that crazy that you made her yep you fucking made her yep. because i mean it doesn't matter like anybody's relationship out there with baby daddy or whatever the point is they donate their dna yeah we do all of the building you know exactly so it's like how the hell do we build something that has something different from us in that sense like as as like basic as blood as you know that's the good thing is that i don't need rogam because she's positive i'm positive that's right that's right that's good but yeah anyway so I guess we could wrap it up there. I mean, that was all about blood types. You guys wanted to hear it, and and yeah. that's it. If you guys want to go down that rabbit hole, I trust me, TikTok has a plethora on that. Yeah, a lot on oh, that. I'm sure. Man, oh my I've God. gone down some like crazy sci-fi things in TikTok. It is so crazy. TikTok has so many different worlds. So many, so many. And if you want to go, dude, last night I went down the deepest <laughs> rabbit hole. I was I was down that rabbit hole on TikTok for probably an hour. For what? For what probably. topic? It was about the these old families of the U.S., like these old elite families of the U.S., like uh-huh. the Rockefellers, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. all that stuff. And then like, all these conspiracies about them and like all these underground things and whatever. And I don't know. There's so much out there that it was just like watching a show. I was just like enthralled with all of this, like to the point that I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop now because like most of this is probably shit <laughs> anyway. And I'm just like, but it was entertaining. <laughs> but dude, the no, rabbit sure. holes are like, no, I'm sure. The other day I went into the rabbit hole on TikTok from for mermaids, like real yeah, life that's what, mermaids. Yes. Have you seen the girl that goes into those deep dives about mermaids? She has, she actually has mermaid looking hair. Like she has like teal hair or whatever. I think I, I think I do know who you're talking about. And do she posts because some crazy videos. Exactly. And all the mermaids are like on the coast of Africa. The other one that I had seen was Indonesia. Indonesia. Like, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Exactly. They're all in these other countries. But there was this like one video that I was like. Bro. Same. I and about I this think guy seen... like on a boat or whatever. And like he was listening to some noises and he was literally in the middle of the freaking ocean where there should not be any mm. noises. Mm. Oh, it was 
this cre- I get I, okay. Yeah, look, I, I, I got it. I got goosebumps. Yeah, I, but there's dude. The ones that she posted is also like I don't know if you saw that one in particular. That it's like a freaking creepy ass creature woman looking on thing. the beach. No, not dead. Oh, okay. not the dead one. But like she's like there's this person on a dock, uh-huh. and they're like sitting on the dock, and of course it's nighttime. Yeah, it's yeah, creepy as shit. And they're on that dog. And then you see this thing like swatting like a hand coming out. And I'm like, bro, did I just see that? That It's either real. Oh, my God. I can't. Like, it's either real I'm or. I'm never going to sit on a dock at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. It's going to be a little manatee coming to say hi to me. And I'm going to be I'm going to freak out. And I'm going to throw something at it. Oh, my God. I mean, or somebody had a lot of time in their hands and was able to do some prop situation there. And, yeah, I know that they can do some things like... Yeah. Oh, no, of course, people can. Online. But I don't know. Some but there the are stuff, some videos that are like... Yeah, some of those videos, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, and of course, they all have like shit quality for video too, which also pisses me off. There was another one. Sorry, guys. You could... Go to another podcast now if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I keep talking about mermaids. But it wasn't even... No, this one's not even mermaids. This one was so creepy because yeah. we're talking about the creepy shit. Yeah. Dude, there was like... It was like in a... I want to say like somewhere in Central America. If it was in Guatemala, it was Mexico or some something like that. And of course, why would you be doing this? This is what's going to happen to you if you're walking in the middle of the fucking night by a graveyard. This is what's going to happen. Why you do don't do, do that. that? Yeah. You don't, I don't do, know that. do that. That's Nowhere. Like people walking into an empty house. Nowhere. Blair Witch Project should have taught you that. Don't do that. Oh my God, Jules, I have to tell you the story after. Okay. Uh huh. But to make a long story short, they're walking by it. They're not even in it. They're walking by it and they hear chanting and whatever. Oh, hell no. Hell no. They hear chanting and it's like these three guys or whatever. And then, you know, one of them is recording and then it's like, oh, bing, bing, bing. And they're talking Spanish. They're like, bing, bing, bing. You know, whatever. So then they're like creeping by to like see what it is. And there's a full on ritual happening. Full on ritual, like with people that are like dressed in black robes around the fire. Nope somewhere in the middle of this freaking cemetery and then they see them and they start running after them oh my god they start running after them and then it's just like you know the erratic camera like running and then like you know the you know they're like screaming in spanish or whatever my worst nightmare yeah this is my worst nightmare right now is happening dude i that was what happened to them i don't know oh my god they're gone (laughs) they're gone those are gone i don't know and it came, it was like pretty, pretty popular, like a couple of years, not even, not a couple of you years, I'm sorry, a couple of months back. I can't <laughs> put me walk to my car by myself now. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. But of course, this was in the. You have like, that abandoned house over there and it's going to creep me out. I know, it's true. <laughs> oh my god. If you see my car there this morning, you're going to be like, oh shit, you never made it to her car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude! But it was out for these guys. It was, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna look for it, and I'll send it to you if I can find oh god, it. I want to see it. It's so <laughs> scary. It was like because it, it looked like one of those movies, but it wasn't a freaking movie. It was like, somebody caught something that people were doing oh, that they should have. No chanting, just the word chanting. I was like, who chants? But at a cemetery with black robes. Oh no, no, and no. it was like it was like a series of people. I want to say like a good number of people, like. No, no, no. No, no, under no, no, 10 no. but close plp <laughs> plp first of all i don't know why the hell these people are walking by the cemetery second of all yeah i don't know why they follow the chanting okay if i heard I chanting know. and i was at a cemetery i'd be like you know what this is a terrible idea this is a terrible idea i'm gonna walk the oh, other way oh i remember why i found that i found that because i went down a rabbit hole of la llorona no you see you, know, <laughs> you do this before you go to sleep Dude, I'm, 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 Before you go to sleep, I, I'm I'm messed up in the I'm mind. over here like looking at makeup and all no. these like different skincares. I'm and you're too... like, yeah, and oh, listening to true fuck crime that. podcasts oh, and everything. God. Dude, no, but there's a creepy video. Nope, no. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you want you want to hear the noise? Sweetie, I don't want to die by myself. There's straight up a woman and people. Multiple videos in Central America have caught this woman. And she is just screaming in the top of her lungs on top of roofs of people in the middle of the night. What the fuck? Are you serious? Te lo juro. I swear to God. I swear to God. 
I swear to God. I swear to God. Actually, once this podcast, once this episode, like we close I'm it. I'm freaking out. When right it now. closes, I'm going to show it to you. I'm freaking out. I, Some I have random to show woman it to just you. gets on the roof of random She's people and she starts screaming. Straight up. Me muero. Straight. Me muero. And there's not one, that's not just like one video, like these people that they, you know, bumped into that shit in the cemetery. No, no, no. It, these are multiple different people in different cities that have recorded similar shit to that. What is wrong with people? I don't know. What is wrong? People. I don't know. And it's like you what and they say, think I, they think it's like Yorona because it's that's the that's the story of La Yorona. She's like screaming or crying, you know, whatever, because her children and she killed her children, but whatever, that's the story behind it, yeah. <laughs> well, that was ABO blood groups. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why I, we went into La Yorona and cults. When we're talking about blood, it could have gone to vampires. Instead. I think this is this is the tangents <laughs> of all tangents that we've gone on on off on. It would have been more sense if it would have gone to vampires, but we went to mermaids and La Llorona. and La Llorona. and cults and cults. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I now I can't walk. How am I supposed to go to sleep now? I'm gonna be thinking about La Llorona. We live in Miami. No, it's, it's... which is crazy, motherfuckers out there. I'm gonna wake up with a chicken on the on the front of the doorstep. <laughs> dude, we had chickens thrown in our house all the time when I was a kid. Like, Every time I look at dude, a chicken or a plastic bag with a chicken in it, I'm like, what does this mean? All, all the time. All the fucking time. I remember. I mean, when, I, I remember my mom was getting so pissed. Someone give me an egg. So pissed so many times. They would just throw it over. And my mom's like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> and like throw it right back. <laughs> right back. <laughs> She and throw it right back out. I'm just like, I don't know what that means, but I don't know. Maybe we're fucked. <laughs> oh no, man. It was at oh, the same no. house. So fucking weird. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> we go. Da, 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 da. No, we're not gonna go anywhere. We're not gonna go. Anywhere. I have a cemetery like right there. No, I don't want to go to the cemetery. I don't want to go to this abandoned house. I don't want to go to the cemetery. I barely want to go to my car. <laughs> Julia, no. <laughs> I, it's the beginning of spooky season. You know, we're I'm, almost there. No, we're, I'm definitely that friend that I'm like, this is a bad idea. We should go home. <laughs> and I'm the, I'm the, and I'm you're the, the one like, no, let's, you're the friend that's fucking walking and wants to know what the, where the chanting is coming from. And I'm the one on the phone recording everything. And I'm the one that dies. You escape, but I die. Okay. <laughs> you get to live to tell the story. I don't. <laughs> They never find me again because they probably put me in a coffin and they bury me alive. <laughs> All right, we're done. A B O. Go O. A B sucks. <laughs> I can't with my stuff right now. Oh, that was blood types, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, mermaids. <laughs> Colts and. La Llorona. And La Llorona is out there. I swear to God, if I catch on my fucking roof, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. Oh, God. Anyway, like, comment, and review us on all streaming platforms. And thank you for listening. And thank you so much for the donations, guys. Like, any any little bit really, really helps yes. us out with everything. Um, And then, oh, catch us on a Wise app, right? what the wise app yeah the wisdom app wisdom wisdom sorry so we have joined the wisdom app so give us a find like i mean find us there we're gonna be answering people's questions you could even ask us a question anonymously so um go ahead and take advantage of that it's a lot of fun and then you also meet a lot of other creators out there with a lot of interesting stuff to say so it's a really cool app that we got invited to and we're having a lot of fun with it now. So catch us there too, along with TikTok and Instagram. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Like, comment, review us on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, etc. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok at Funny Medicine Podcast. Our Gmail is at funnymedicine305 at gmail.com. And remember, we are not diagnosing you. Definitely not. Just funny stuff. See you later, guys.